Hey guys, welcome back to Vudo TV. Today we're gonna take a look at the Bamboo Capture Pen and Touch tablet from Wacom. So we're gonna take it out of the box and uh, go over some of the features and do a bit of a demo for you today. Okay, so the Bamboo Capture is part of the newest lineup from of a digital tablet from Wacom or Wacom, however you wanna say it. It offers more pressure sensitivity than the previous versions of the Bamboo series, uh, especially like the uh, the past rendition with the Pen and Touch, uh, what was the model number, CT, something 460. Uh, it does offer a much slimmer design and it comes with a nice bundle of software. Uh, one thing, I don't know if you guys can see it on the boss, I don't know why, but uh, Wacom or Wacom has decided to actually remove the eraser from this version of the Bamboo and save it for the upgraded version, which is uh, twice the size, but you are essentially paying twice the price for it, which is kind of odd because you know the eraser tool, if you guys are into digital art or graphic design, that's like the key thing to have on your stylus. So uh, that's gonna that's gone now. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Here's the front of the box. On the back, um, just go over some of the features. Shows you the software it comes with, which is uh, Adobe Photoshop Elements and Autodesk Sketchbook. So you guys want to do some sketching on it. There's that. So let's get this open here. Okay. It's actually a very thin and light box. So we'll get this out of the way. There it is. Let's open this up. Welcome to your bamboo. Right, so, I guess get this out of the way. So here you see how they've packaged the product. Here is your stylus pen with uh, some plastic caps on it. We'll get that out of the way after. Here's some extra nibs, and I believe that is just a holder for the pen. So put this over here. Here is the tablet itself, which we will open up in just a moment. Down here we also have the USB connector for the tablet to your computer and in here is the uh, drivers and software instructions, warranty, all that, all that good stuff. So I'll just put that back, throw this over here, cable, stylus, nibs, and let's take a look at the tablet itself. Lots of tape to get through. Oh, come on. There we go. And there is the stylus with a coffee sleeve for some reason. But here is the stylus itself. So as you can see, Wacom has actually modernized the design very nicely. It is much slimmer than the previous versions of the Bamboo tablets. If you guys are familiar or have worked with the previous versions of it, you'll notice it is much slimmer. Uh, another thing you'll notice is there's much more fewer cut lines and buttons. They took out some of the buttons, or actually they just made them larger. So you can see here, there's they just left uh, all the space over here for the new larger uh, programmable buttons. So you can program these for shortcuts and whatnot. Uh, Wacom has actually given them a texture or geometric shape, so just for some extra added style. Over here we have the blue LED that will light up so that you guys will know that it's on or active. Uh, the, the tablet itself is actually quite sturdy, even though it's made of plastic. It's quality plastic, it's very sturdy, very nice, uh, and very light. So if you guys want to take this with you on the road or uh, to school, wherever you guys want to go with it, you know, it's, it won't take up that much extra space or, or add any extra weight. Uh, the capture version is uh, mostly silver. There's a black accent bar over here that has the buttons. And uh, also to coincide with, you know, the black stylus over here. I'm just leaving the package for now, but it's a black stylus, very nice. So another neat little thing that Wacom has uh, added to the tablet for your extra convenience and comfort is that they've added a uh, attach actually a little nylon holder for the stylus. So you just uh, slip that through and that'll hold that in place. So if you guys are you know traveling around and you don't want to lose track of where your stylus is, just slip in there and you're good to go. So that's a nice little thing to have. Uh, the drawing surface measures at 5.8 by 3.6 inches. So you do have a nice little comfortable a drawing area. So, you know, obviously there's much larger sizes for guys in studios and whatnot where they won't be moving this around a lot, but for, uh, you know, for students and for just artists on the go, this is perfect. This is comfortable to work with on uh, sketches or photographs, anything of that sort. Uh, it is the same as the previous versions of the bamboo. And of course, uh, you can always detach the USB cord so you don't have to worry about, you know, it being stuck when you're moving around. So in regards to installing the Bamboo Capture software, it's very simple. It's actually, it's so simple, Bamboo is actually giving you a three-step instruction guide without any words. 
you pop in the CD, you load the software, you connect your tablet to it, and you are ready to go. So it's in here, it's a quick start guide in case you need it. Here's the software, oh sorry, the firmware for the, uh, for the tablet, and bundled is, uh, the software bundles are with Photoshop Elements 8.0, Autodesk Sketchbook, and it also actually gives you a Nick Color Fence Pro, which is a uh, Photoshop plugin for photographers. So it's part of the bundle there. And uh, yeah, so simple to install, it takes maybe just two minutes to get the software running. And once you have the software up, you can actually uh, go ahead and customize your tablet. You can customize what the buttons will do for, let's say, Photoshop, if you want to change this to the Move tool, Erase tool, whatnot. And this is where you would also adjust uh, the sensitivity for your stylus. So if you want more or less sensitivity, uh, you would do it through that software. So I mentioned earlier about the pressure sensitivity. The Bamboo Capture actually offers 1,024 levels of pressure sensitivity. Now for some of you that number may not mean anything, but for some of you who are digital artists or photographers, that's a pretty good uh, number to have for pressure sens uh, sensitivity, especially for a tablet of this size and portability. Uh, that number is actually twice the precision of the uh, original pen and touch uh, to digital tablet, uh, especially in terms of you know, how hard you're pressing down on the actual uh, surface areas. Uh, other than that, you know, the position accuracy is, is very good, it's still very accurate. And uh, if it's at the same level as the actual uh, higher end uh, digital tablets that Wacom offers, which is the Intuos and the Cintiq lines. Now, for some of you who have never used a drawing tablet before, you know, just a heads up, it does get some getting used to, especially if you're going to be working with uh, different size tablets, especially if you're starting off at a smaller uh, working area, such as this one. Uh, so, just like a quick demonstration of how to go and use a digital tablet. Uh, if you want to use it as a cursor and not actually draw anything, you can just bring it close to the tablet. I don't know if you guys can actually see how close I am to it. You don't have to be too, too, too close, but not too far either. You know, just have it close to the surface area. And if you start moving around, you'll actually see your cursor on the screen start to move. So this is a good way to sort of navigate and give you a better idea of where, uh, you know, where your cursor or brush is going to be before you actually start drawing stuff on your medium. So once you actually start pressing down on the pen tip, you will actually be able to draw or you know paint or whatever uh, application you're using and start to actually apply something to the screen, which is this. And again, if you just want to move around, just lift it slightly, not touching the actual uh, work area, and you can go ahead and use it back as a cursor. Now I saw. Now I know there are some uh, users out there who would prefer to use a stylus along with you know a mouse. I, I don't have a mouse on me, but who would still want to use a mouse as opposed to using the stylus. But uh, for some of you who you know work primarily on a stylus and don't want to do the hassle of putting it down, go back to the mouse, vice versa. Um, the great thing about the capture is that it also functions as a, basically a, a trackpad, a, a laptop trackpad. Uh, it does feature you know multi gesture, so you can actually do multi touch, uh, pinch, zoom, drag, all that, all that fun stuff that you would normally do with a laptop trackpad. And especially that you have these programmable buttons on the side, you can use these for you know, shortcuts in navigation, let's say for left click, right click, opening particular menus, uh, stuff like that. So this can actually replace, uh, you know, your, your mouse and your, your mouse pad, all that sort of stuff if you're working on a desktop. Even if you're working on a laptop, this is just treated as a larger trackpad and uh, just gives you more space and more comfort to play around with, except, you know, this little surface over here. So that's another great feature to have. Um, with the bamboo capture. Okay, so right now I'm just going to do a quick little demo to show you about you know how to use a uh, digital tablet. So I'm just gonna I have Photoshop open to my left right now. I'm just gonna sketch out something really quick. Sure. Yeah. So you guys can, I don't know if you guys can see this. I just drew a little camera. Just. a little camera, you know, just for fun. So you can see, like, you know, I'm not the best artist in the world, clearly, but uh, here we just play around with some of the touchpad features. So there you can move the mouse around. You know, it's, it's very simple to use. You guys just basically, you know, just draw or write whatever you guys feel, um, especially with the sketchable application. You know, you guys can just sketch out whatever, sketch out any ideas. Um, if you're a photographer and you work on photos, you know, this is great for you know masking certain things especially with the pressure sensitivity set and uh, we even have some of the program the buttons program here so you know, this is more, even more so for Mac users but you know, all our windows are collected um, the brush menu so quick little shortcuts here and there these are all just things that make the tablet much more convenient and make your workflow that much faster
You can see, so Wacom has provided us with an amazing digital tablet. And although, for whatever reason, they decided to take out the eraser functions and the stylus, there's still a lot of redeeming points to it. Everything from the improved pressure sensitivity, to the new redesign, to the programmable buttons, and even the trackpad and multi-touch you know, feature, all the gestures, it has everything that you guys need for a digital artist. And most of all, it's very affordable. So if you guys want a full review of the tablet, be sure to check out our blog at blog.fudo.com. Also be sure to comment, subscribe, and stay tuned because we're going to have a lot more videos coming out very soon.